all that's missing is like a little bow tie and then I'm like full on nerd. <laughs> I love this shirt so much. Hello everyone, how are you doing on this fine day? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Noah, and we are a Z Bookworm. We talk about anything to do with books, game books, all that sort of jazz. My eyes are sweating because I laughed at my own joke. Joke of the day. What did Sushi A say to Sushi B? Wasabi! Anyway, we're talking about today, uh, J um, Naked Death by JD Rob. Don't know why I'm struggling so much. I also must apologize. It's been so long because I've been ill. I'm still not 100%. I'm getting there, but I, I still, I'm not where I want to be right now. But we're just going to go into this. So, this book published in the US was 1995, but in the UK it was published in 2003, which is quite um, a long, that's quite a few years difference of publishing. I didn't know that was like, I just assumed that maybe they're just like a couple weeks, but I wouldn't think years, but yeah, there we go. There's 375 pages in this book. So the story, we follow Eve Dallas. Now, Eve Dallas is a pretty badass character. Uh, one of the things I do like about this book is that we have a little personal file just for Eve. The one thing that I hate, though, she's five foot nine inches. Even in book form, there's people taller than me. How dare she? How dare she? So, yeah, we follow Eve Dallas, who is a homicide lieutenant. Uh, she's been with the... She's been in this job for about ten years. And it's the future. It's like 2053 or something silly like that. I don't know. And uh, she gets a call basically saying there's we've got a code level five, whatever it is. Uh, so it's like it's, it's high priority. Only you and one person can be working on this. We can't have other people know. And she arrives at the scene and she finds out that it's like a senator's granddaughter who works as a prostitute, which is legal now uh, to kind of stop bad things from happening. So it's legalized. Uh, and this person has been murdered in the most brutal way by a gun. Guns that have not really been used for many, many years because it's too brutal. And it's been done by a police style old gun. I can't remember which one. You think I remember this? Uh, this person was shot in the forehead, the chest, and then the genitals. And then it, it goes off onto the whole spiel of underneath the body, it says one out of six. And they're like, shit, there's going to be more. And it's whole, this, it, the whole story is them basically trying to get evidence, figure out who it is, trying to stop other murders. Other murders do happen while having to also sort out their own life. A lot goes on in this. It's a really good story, though. <laughs> All the evidence, though, points to this one guy who's like this Irish billionaire uh, who she then kind of thinks, you know what, I'm going to get my gut with this, which a lot of people don't do in the police force. They use a lot of computer things to give them the probability. If it's high probability, they'll just follow the computer, never mind what their guts say. But he's like, no, this person didn't do it. This person is sexy as fuck, though. I'm going to climb that like a tree. <laughs> while trying to find who else it can point towards and also try not to lose her job at the same time because people do not like her. <laughs> but the story-wise, I do enjoy this story. I, I've read this before. It's a very good book. It's very well written. The plot itself, it's steady pace. It doesn't start low and then go high. It's pretty much like, we've got a call. This is the level. We've got a call. Uh, things happen. We've got a bit of the uh, of the scene of the murder, and then it kind of goes back down a little bit to the starting level. It doesn't dip. It doesn't go too high. It, it's pretty steady. Um, so it's weirdly enough the perfect pace for the build up of the case while trying to figure it out yourselves and trying to get the gist and feel of of the characters and 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 who did this to these people. Characters, they, we have a few characters, but I'm only going to talk about the main ones because I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about the the, the the victims. I don't want to talk about who is going to be like part of the uh, investigation. I don't want to ruin that side by talking about all these people. I'm going to talk about the main people that I actually like. So we've got Eve Dallas, which is our main girl. Uh, she's gone through traumatic stuff. She was found uh, when she was around about eight, nine years old in like a random place. And she had signs of like abuse, emotional, emotional, emotional abuse, emotional, mental and physical abuse. Take that as what you will. You're probably in the right direction. 
from family members and other people. Um, so she's she's a very logical, very very rough girl. Uh, we have Rourke, who is this Irish billionaire who is kind of like the uh, um, a suspect, but you, you basically just get the gist of this is a person she's going to climb like a tree. Um, it talks a lot about how tall he is, about his Irish lilt. <clears throat> He himself started from the bot from the ground, from the bottom, and worked himself way up high. So he kind of understands Eve to a certain point. We have Finney, who is uh, um, a work friend. He's all right. He's he's kind of attached to Eve though, which annoys me a little bit. But he works hard and he works well with her. They do have a good working relationship. We have Mavis, who is one of the best, one of my favorite characters in this, alongside Eve is uh eve's best friend now mavis is uh someone who eve caught <laughs> who didn't do good things drugs and other sort of stuff and she mavis got caught and they somehow just managed to become friends and mavis kind of helps her out a lot and it's that person that will literally tell you what you need to hear even if you don't want to hear it but she is that part of the person who goes you may not need to hear this but i'm going to tell you anyway deal with it and that's why we love her uh, and we have galahad now oh, galahad Galahad's just a cat. I love it when animals are involved and Galahad is a very fitting name for this cat and it brings a certain sort of uh, human vibe to, to Eve this cat because she's she's not known for certain things. She's she's very standoffish. She has her walls up and this cat just comes in and it's like that cat's gonna be good for you. <laughs> uh, but that's me not going into the details with all the other like suspects other characters there's a lot more characters than just what i've mentioned but it's not too much for the story it's 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 a reasonable amount of people and they all have their own personalities their own quirks their own ways that they talk how they look everything like that is is perfect and beautiful with them rereadability absolutely i've this is not the first time i've read this book it's a good read and i will happily keep reading this to be honest and i know that there's so many books in this series and there's so many books that it needs its own bookshelf, which we have to get. Joyous occasions with that. But yeah, they're definitely reread but Fun fact, that there's certain funny bits in it that I love, uh, which I have tagged. I've not tagged all of them, so it's only a few at the beginning where I was just like, yes, this works. Like, Mavis is, uh, Mavis is dating this dentist, and Eve's asking about him. She's like, I love that he, like, he can happily fall in love with my teeth, but he can't fall in love with me because he wants marriage now. And the whole thing is Eve's like, the bastard. And Mavis is like, you just can't trust anybody. And I was just like, in certain parts of the world, I think that's very fitting. <laughs> the main thing is that you also need to realise is with this and the case that she's working on Eve, just to just sidestep a little bit, it, it does get dark. Some of the things that happen in it is dark. Some of the um, the, the prostitutes, the high paying escorts, whatever you want to call them, it's messed up like people have certain kinks in the world which i get but when one of them who looks like a young girl and she's like i've realized uh pedophilia was rapidly becoming her speciality i was like oh i struggled with that one a little bit <laughs> i was like damn it, it does get dark it i wouldn't say it's graphic but it's it's how it's worded it's still shocking uh, fun fact, like I said, there's, there's certain bits in that's just funny. There's certain conversations, certain moments where people have this sort of interaction. And it's like, wow, that is actually really fitting. I like that. Rating for this, I would say, as much as I would love to give it five stars. And trust me, I really, really fucking would. I'm going to give it four out of five. The reason why is because there's a certain thing that people do. Now, J.D. Robb is a female writer. Uh, under, I think her actual name is Nora. I may be completely wrong, maybe the other way around. But a lot of people do this thing where to build up a female character, they have to have something shocking happen to them. And that's why they are the way they are. And with Eve, that's kind of how it is. It's, it, it's, it's mentioned a few times that she can't talk about it. She can't tell anyone about it. This therapist tries to get to her. She's like, no, I've forgotten about it. I don't have any memories, even though she does. And um, it's brought up numerous times as the reason why she acts the way she does, why she isn't very trusting, why, why certain things are a no-go. Um, let's say re being restrained, for example. Um, it, 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 it's difficult. It's difficult because it shouldn't... 
a character's background, well, yes, you want to be like, this is why this is such a strong character. And she is a very strong character. Anyone who goes through anything like this are strong characters. In life, not in like, like, like IRL and all that sort of jazz. Like, I get it. I've gone through shit like that. But it's a bit where, um, like, 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 it's constantly brought up. It's like, I kind of get it. You don't need to keep bringing it up. I get it. I get it. It's building up uh, for how, when Eve kind of hits her breaking point. I get it. But at the same time, there's a moment where she's with Rock and he does something, it's going to sound absolutely terrible, where he restrains her and she's like, clearly the book explains that she's terrified because she's getting like flashbacks to like when she was younger, when she was like eight, seven, so on and so forth, because it's been happening for a few years. But she's okay with it at the same time, because originally she was like, no, don't do that, don't do that. And then she's like, ooh, and it's like, you can't have both. It can't be both, please. <laughs> It's a good book. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the season. I'm going to get the second book. Oh, I hate that they changed the, the, the stats. The matte finish on this book is beautiful. They're re-releasing the books. They're all gloss. Why? Why? But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Four stars. I absolutely fucking enjoyed the book. The bits that happened that I've just mentioned, you can, like, it doesn't... It's only one time that that sort of happens. But uh, just, just be aware of that. Um, this book doesn't have any trigger warnings. I don't think it needs any trigger warnings because it, 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 it can, with something like this and this sort of style, like, like like crime, thriller sort of stuff, you know what you're kind of going in for. You kind of expect to know because it's that sort of genre. You know, things are going to be shocking and, and stuff like that. It's not horrifying. It's not. It doesn't go into detail, which is perfect for the story. Uh, good read, good writing. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you think, if you've read any. I've never read any of the other books by J.D. Robb slash Nora. Uh, if you have, let me know which ones your favourite are. And uh, I need to find a bow tie for this. You all be good. Uh, make good decisions in life and love, love. Cheers. <laughs>